Valentine's Day is coming up, and we're joined by Stefan Ryle from Southern New Hampshire's Quill Restaurant and the culinary program there. And I know you brought in one of your students, June. Thanks so much for joining us. And you are going to be cooking these lovely crepes. We are. We're going to be making a beautiful strawberry and mascarpone grapes. And Junior's going to start showing you how we make the, uh, the grapes. And the nice thing about this dish is when you want to work it on Valentine's morning, you can also prep most of the stuff ahead of time and then just prepare it quick in the morning and prepare your better half or surprise her. In bed, with breakfast in bed. Can you so actually make the crepes ahead of time or you not? You could. We have them over there oh, if you like to, and then just warm them back up. So you make your basic grape butter, which is um, eggs, flour, melted butter, a uh, little salt, a little sugar, and maybe some vanilla extract. And the easiest way to do it is you make it in a blender, just in a blender, and then you let it sit. The important thing is to let it sit for about a half an hour to an hour, and then you start making your grapes. And when they are ready, we are also going to make our filling. For our filling, we're going to use uh, about eight cups of no, one cup of uh, mascarpone cheese, one and a half cups of uh, strawberries, two tablespoons of confectionery sugar, and also a dash of lemon juice. And you could prepare this easily the night before as well. And now we'll come to the tricky part. You want to present them nicely. So we're going to put the filling into our grapes. And uh, you want to make a good dash, nice filling. And the grapes are nice and warm, so the cheese kind of melts into it a little bit, so you get the nice flavor. The sugar is caramelizing. And uh, be nice and gentle with it. Then we roll them up, fold them nicely tight together, make sure all the filling stays inside. And we'll put them on our plate, which we have already slightly prepared. Yeah, that's beautiful with but the strawberry. But you want to make there. sure you have nice. And if you don't know how to make a strawberry rose, just put a real rose on it, and that will probably look as well. Right. For our sauce, we use also lemon juice, sugar, um, orange juice, fresh strawberries, and you let them marinate for, I would say, at least half an hour. And then we're just going to put this very simple over the pancakes, over the grapes. That's delicious. Let them run down a little bit on the sides. Could be good for breakfast or could be dessert. Great. Yes, could also be a great dessert mm -hmm. if you have dinner plans and you like to go out. And if people are making dinner perfect. plans, they should also be aware of the Quill Restaurant there at Southern New Hampshire University. I know that you do dinners every Thursday evening. Every Thursday evening, and it's rotating. Sometimes it's um, French classic cuisine, and in the other time it's um, international cuisine. And uh, dinners are $28 a person, and you can't beat the price. It's a five-dollar meal, uh, five-course meal. And um, it's absolute best deal in town. And June, wonderful uh, program over there, right? Working at the restaurant as well, you get great experience. Yeah, yep. it's good. It's, it's good fun. experience to go to the real working industry. It's yeah. good practice in there. And we appreciate you both and coming in and sharing this recipe with us. And for reservations, if you like to call, it's uh, six two nine four six. Zero 08. I got to make sure I don't get my cheat sheet. <laughs> <laughs> or you go at findine.sndu.edu. Oh, wonderful. Thank you both for coming in. We appreciate it. Thank and you we'll very much back. for having us. Thank yeah. you.